today i am going to show you how to make spark gear shaft in solidworks so let's begin at first click here a part is selected click on okay okay just wait for a while okay here our unit is ips from here select mmgs okay now go to sketch click on sketch and from here select top plane now from here select line click and draw line okay, continue drawing Okay, continue make lines <laughs> okay join together now with a smart dimension take this dimension 24 mm and this dimension 2 mm this one 1 mm this one 1.5 mm Now this one, okay. Click on okay. Now select this line. Press on control button and select this line. Okay, it is okay. Right button. Click on sketch. Select this line. Press on control. And select this line, make them equal. Okay, we have made a relation here. That means this line and this line is equal. Now go to smart dimension again. Take this dimension 20 mm, 20 mm. Take this one 12 mm. this one 25 mm take this one 9 mm then this one 16 mm take this one okay what is the problem here okay take this one yes skip select dimension again Take this one 5 mm. Select this one 70 mm. Now we can see that our drawing is fully defined. Okay. Now go to features. Select revolved boss or base. axis of revolution select this line okay the primary part we have got now click here click on sketch now uh, click on space bar and select this icon select this outer circle and select uh, click on convert entities now this circle has been converted now okay. select line okay. 
draw a line now select this line and click here for construction okay now from here select midpoint line draw midpoint line and draw another line now select line again and draw this line now select this line press on control and select this line make them equal okay now go to smart dimension take this dimension 3 mm and click here also click here now take the dimension 9 mm and take dimension of this line okay skip select smart dimension again take dimension of this line just 7 mm okay now select trim entities and trim the outer part of the circle okay now check this one now go to features select extruded cut now select this one okay skip select extruded cut and from here select blind so blind select throw all and sketch plane features this one okay now from linear pattern click here and select circular pattern now select this portion and for uh, from perimeters click here and select this circle outer circle and this one is 20 okay click okay we have almost almost got our spur gear shaped okay now select a plane select a plane sketch press uh, click on space bar and click this option now from here select center point state slot and from the midpoint draw slot okay go to smart dimension and take this distance eight mm and this one twenty mm and the distance from this point to this line is 15 mm okay now go to features select extruded cut and from here select surface and click here and select the surface okay not here click here and select the surface and from here select 3 mm 
okay now we have got our spur gear shift now let's apply the material click on right button click edit material and from iron just click here and select a clay cast iron you can select any of them no problem select apply and then close this is our spur gear shaft so friends if you think this video is useful please subscribe my channel like comment and share my videos and if you have any question regarding this video tutorial or autocad or solidworks you can ask that in the comment box thank you